inviting all admirers of Cafe Racer Aesthetics. Today we're looking at some of the latest representatives of this class that use a battery electric powertrain. Let's get technical. Wuyang EVO Although some media outlets have mistakenly called this the first e-bike by Honda, this compact cafe racer still deserves your attention. Co-developed with Honda, this two-wheeler will first debut on the Asian market with two body color options, red contrasting stripes and a unique clear windshield that spans over the headlamp. The motor unit produces 8.2 kilowatts of continuous power and is capable of quick bursts all the way to 16 kilowatts ensuring a swift acceleration to the 75 mph top speed. Underneath the bodywork, the 343-pound bike hides three batteries. The 74-volt, 28-amp-hour units bring upwards of 105 miles of autonomy. When depleted, each unit needs 2.5 hours to restore full charge. Emo Nomado Trying to fill the gap between an electric bicycle and a beginner motorcycle, the DX by the Canada-based Emo company is a perfect zero-emission commuter. Built on a high-strength tubular frame, the Nomado weighs 260 pounds and has a 31.5-inch seat height. The build is sturdy enough to withstand loads up to 620 pounds. In aesthetic terms, you get a traditional cafe racer look with a round LED headlight, low handlebars, and a long bench seat. The power comes from a 3-kilowatt motor. Out of the factory, it's limited to 20 miles per hour to comply with e-bike legislation. However, the limit could be removed for off-road use. The bike's 72-volt, 50-amp-hour battery is good for 60 miles, while dual-piston hydraulic brakes ensure confident stopping power. FDN Motion Street Dog Frustrated by the fact that most electric mopeds were simply uninspiring copies of their gas siblings, the trio of founders of the New Zealand-based FTN Motion Company decided to create the proper product. Their creation is called the Street Dog, a no-nonsense, lightweight e-bike for urban commuting. It's built on a steel frame, weighs just 180 pounds, and only requires a moped-level license to be operated. A lid of the faux tank flips up, giving you easy access to the 30-liter compartment integrated into the frame. Street Dog's powertrain consists of a 3-kilowatt rear hub motor and a removable 2.9-kilowatt-hour battery pack, sufficient for 62 miles of range. Other noteworthy features of the Street Dog include regen braking, NFC key tag and pin code activation, remote alarm, and wheel lock. Finally, it seems that the makers of the Street Dog got tired of hearing the feedback about the bike's limited top speed. So, they gave in and made a more potent version called the Street Dog 80. This newcomer has a 28.1-inch seat height, a 194-pound weight, and a 330-pound carrying capacity. The upgraded powertrain now houses a 4-kilowatt motor and two 72-volt 40-amp-hour batteries. The motor peaks at 7.5 kilowatts, bringing 50 mile per hour speeds and up to 86 miles of zero emission travel. Rally Wind EX1. This model made its public debut on the show floor of the latest Milan exhibition. It's a cafe racer with a retro inspired exterior and brushed aluminum finishes. Behind the unlockable bodywork panels hides a battery compartment that holds 72 volt, 76 point amp hour modules. Labeled as an electrified alternative to the 125cc class, the EX1 employs a 5 kilowatt rear hub motor that peaks at 8 kilowatts, thus enabling a swift acceleration to 30 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. The maximum velocity is clocked at 52 miles per hour. According to the manufacturer's estimations, this 320-pound machine could cover up to 90 miles before running out of juice. Finally, other important features include Bosch ABS, full LED lights, and a TFT information display.
Revolve Cafe Racer Known on the international market as Denzel, this Cafe Racer motorcycle originates from Asia and is distributed to the North American continent, Europe, and other more remote parts of the globe. The model has a 29.5-inch seat height and carbon fiber bodywork that ensures a low weight of 275 pounds. It's brought into motion by a 10-kilowatt mid-drive motor that utilizes 72-volt architecture. With this setup, riders up to 400 pounds could travel at speeds up to 55 miles per hour. One full charge of a 72-volt, 50-amp-hour battery equates to 40 miles of travel. Besides a retro-inspired Cafe Racer look, you're also getting an LED control display, a performance mode switcher with reverse gear, an electronic brake with regen, and an onboard 10-amp charger. Regent is a Swedish manufacturer that is focused on fusing the latest e-bike technology with legacy motorcycle designs. Each model is treated as a work of art. All bikes are handcrafted in Sweden and need from 8 to 10 weeks to be put together. This platform is a top choice for various custom builds. One of them was born in a collaboration between RGNT, Crooked Motorcycles, and Vanguard clothing brand. The build has custom cafe racer fairing that neatly integrates the round LED headlight, low clip-on handlebars, a blacked-out suspension fork, and a reshaped seat that neatly sits on the custom subframe. The bodywork has a black and blue color scheme, a set of white decals, and an upgraded suspension setup by Paoli. Several years ago, Savage Motorcycles, a promising Australian e-mobility startup, unveiled a pre-production prototype of a beautiful retro-inspired cafe racer bike. This project attracted the interest of the e-bike community and the investors who helped the company raise the required funding to develop an ambitious product roadmap. The mass production of the C-Series electric motorcycle is the endpoint of the roadmap. The C-Series bike will be offered in two power modifications, Alpha and Delta with Alpha being the more powerful of the two. Depending on the chosen model, you will receive either a 40 or 60 kilowatt electric liquid-cooled motor. The Delta's 40 kilowatt motor will generate 103 pound-feet of torque and let you sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. The torque parameter for the Alpha's 60 kilowatt motor unit raises to 147 pound-feet, while the acceleration time is slashed to just 3.5 seconds. Alpha's powertrain will feature a 16.7 kWh battery pack, good for 125 miles of riding. For the Delta, you're getting a slightly smaller 14.2 kWh pack that offers an estimated range autonomy of 93 miles. Both models offer a fully adjustable Wilbur's telescopic fork, YSS rear shock, Brembo M4 brakes, ABS, traction control, regenerative braking, and a 7-inch digital display for reading the important technical indicators. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates, and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time.